what stories, Dan, story, stories of this offseason for you in your mind had the biggest dynasty impact? And I put a big disclaimer, excluding Deshaun Watson, because obviously that was the talk of the town all offseason. Yeah, I'm looking at it from a fantasy and less of a drama situation here. But to me, like connecting the most dots, the greatest impact this offseason to me was Russ Wilson. Because he impacted Denver. He impacted Seattle. We saw Cortland Sutton be like legit again. He, he just keeps rising, I think, every week. Jerry Judy, we've got hope again. And then we watched like DK Metcalf just take this big plummet in fantasy with not having that high caliber quarterback and even Lockett sinking and, you know, Seattle's down. So to me, the largest story was Russ Wilson because it affected the most dynasty and just fantasy football pieces in general. I had four different scenarios or f- three different stories of this offseason that I had prepared. One of them certainly was Russell Wilson. So I want to chime in here. And Mitch, we're starting off story of the offseason that had the biggest dynasty impact. I said, excluding Deshaun Watson, Dan came in strong with Russell Wilson mm-hmm. being traded to the Denver Broncos. And yeah, the trickle down effect, right? Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Albert O, Noah Fant, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Rashad Petty, Kenneth Walker, Drew Locke, Geno Smith. And can I say to an extent, and I was really, I, you know, I, I was really diving in this weekend and thinking of different scenarios. Could you say that Russell Wilson being traded to Denver also provided some additional, oh, uh, you know, from a projection standpoint, maybe some additional value for Jimmy Garoppolo in your league's trade market because it opened up one additional spot for him to be traded to maybe. And I know you've been talking about Seattle, Dan, and who knows when it's all said and done, maybe he is a Seahawk. Um, But that was like a, not even secondary, but like a tertiary effect of Russell Wilson. It just gave that one extra landing spot. Oh, maybe Garoppolo could go there. And we saw him trade, Based on uh, speculation, that's the word I'm looking for. I went blank there for a second earlier. But based on speculation, we saw some trades involving Jimmy Garoppolo in our super flex leagues. So I think that was just one of the, I mean, what did I rattle off there? 10, 12 players that Russell Wilson being traded to Denver directly impacted. So I don't know, Mitch, if we can top that honestly from a biggest dynasty impact storyline. I'm gonna say Tom Brady. To be honest, man, that's my that's my number two. I Wait, know, like I saw it, I saw it on it, your notes, but yeah, I it's like it. it's like Family Feud. Like mm-hmm. I, number one answer. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So while while Russell Wilson left the Seahawks, he only really affected really Lockett's value was already in the trash, right? Metcalf's value is dropped down a little bit, but those are really the two big hits, right? To where Tom Brady not coming back. Huge effect on Fournette, huge effect on Evans, huge effect on Godwin. Um, in that meantime, we had Gronkowski retire. So I think that was the biggest mover, to be honest with you. I know Dan has I'm issues him. with I'm him. challenging him because, Mitch, here's the issue, Mitch. Like, Gronk's a separate story. Okay. He just returned to his own team. He didn't impact two teams. And you left out like, like Albert O even has relevancy now with Russ Wilson. And Noah Fant gets traded. And, and it's part of that deal. And his value is not the same because he's got Geno impacting him. So it, it affected a lot more guys there. Rogers not that Brady ex- wasn't big, but the Broncos. What's that? Rodgers probably would have ended up with the Broncos if Russell didn't. And there's all those little like side quarterback stories, as you mentioned that piece, and then JB mentioned Garoppolo. Like that drug on for a while. Like Baker could have went there. There was we we were speculating for many weeks trying to figure out the quarterback picture. So, man, I, I got Mitch. I, I think you were number two on the Family Feud there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I had written down here so Tom Brady returning, and it was the secondary pieces: Gronk retiring, Antonio Brown kind of disappearing and doing his rap thing, and that's fine, whatever. But I had written down there, and do you guys, did you ever see the movie with Ashton Kutcher, The Butterfly Effect? Mm -hmm. And not just the movie, but the theory itself. You know, uh, one little thing changes, and it trickles down, it trickles down, and it's like all of a sudden, I wake up tomorrow, and I'm a billionaire because something happened, you know, long, long ago. Whatever that one change was, 
I need to figure out if it's going to get me to be a billionaire. But anyway, listen, hold on, Dan. But Mitch, this is all making sense to me now. This is the reason JB has moved and not like redecorated his his his, his backsplash in weeks. He's watching movies all the time. I get man. it. I get it. That's two analogies in ten minutes. Listen, listen. Just because you guys are in tune with any type of pop culture reference, I really, I actually think most people know that off The Simpsons. To be honest with you. But I mean, you could go to like a very low key Ashton Kutcher movie if you want to. But the Kutcher? Simpsons Kutcher. did it as well. What Kutcher. Well, what year? What year? Probably before. Probably, probably before the movie. It's I would Simpsons guess before. Universe. But okay. So the butterfly effect. Here we go with this situation. Tom Brady doesn't return. That most likely opens the door for one of these other quarterbacks. And maybe it goes back to a Jimmy Garoppolo or an Aaron Rodgers. If Gronk doesn't retire, let's say Brady came back. Bronk doesn't re Bronk Gronk doesn't retire. Maybe they don't pursue Julio Jones because you still have that big body player in Gronk. Kyle Rudolph almost certainly does not end up there. Where does he go? Who does he impact? And then with Antonio Brown, if he were to come back, I doubt you see Russell Gage in Tampa. Mm -hmm. So any one of those little moves, and I say little, you know, but if any of those change, we might be talking about Kyle Trask as a starting quarterback in the NFL. We might be talking about, uh, you know, Kate Otten instead of getting any type of uh, hype potentially throughout the off season, he's just on the practice squad. You know, Kyle Rudolph is unemployed Julio Jones, maybe he, uh, you know, ended up in New England or something. You know, there's so many different scenarios just because of those moves.